former President Donald Trump has been convicted on all 34 counts of falsifying business records by a New York jury. The charges relate to hush money payments made to adult film star Stormy Daniels during the 2016 presidential campaign. After 9.5 hours of deliberation, the jury delivered the guilty verdict, making Trump the first former U.S. president to be convicted of felony crimes. Sentencing is scheduled for July 11, just days before the Republican National Convention. Trump, who remained stoic as the verdict was read, faces up to four years in prison. However, it's unclear if prosecutors will seek imprisonment or if the judge will impose such a sentence. The conviction adds significant legal challenges for Trump as he campaigns for the 2024 presidential election. Despite the conviction, he remains eligible to run for office. Trump's legal team is expected to appeal, arguing that the case was politically motivated. This trial marks a pivotal moment in American history, testing the resilience of the judicial system against high-profile defendants. The case has reinforced opinions on both sides, with Democrats likely using the conviction to argue Trump's unfitness for office, while Trump continues to claim victimization by a biased legal system. The trial featured testimonies from key figures like Michael Cohen and David Pecker, detailing a scheme to conceal damaging stories about Trump. Cohen provided a direct link to Trump, describing how the former president instructed him to handle the hush money payments. The political implications of this conviction are significant, potentially influencing the upcoming election and the broader American political landscape.